Hello and welcome to the latest edition of my podcast, uh, covering Wigan Athletics Administration. So today I've got the pleasure of being joined by the Wigan Athletics Supports Club Chairwoman, Caroline Molyneux. So Caroline, thank you so much for joining me. Um, uh, so as as the Wigan Athletic had just played Brentford, uh, it's, it ended in a 3-0 defeat, but somehow a lot bigger happened. Uh, through your crowdfunding page, we have raised over £100,000 in just over 24 hours for this football club. Uh, while I'm gosmat, uh, what are your thoughts and uh, how happy are you? Yeah, I said to you earlier, didn't I, that it feels a little bit bittersweet, but uh, Brentford were a good side today, and probably one of the best we've uh, we played against all season, really, um, and that you know reaching that figure of 100 k in like as you said, just over twenty four hours, took the edge off the defeat definitely because um, you know we've got uh, a real big task on our hands to make sure that we fulfil the fixtures, and hundred um, k will make a really good start to uh, making sure that happens. So it, it's unbelievable what the supporters have done. And, you know, you mentioned that it's the official supporters club. It's every single supporter that's donated and shared, you know, even those that can't donate. We've had thousands of shares across the world of that crowdfunding page. Every organisation that's involved with Wigan Athletic has has got involved over the last 24 hours. Um, Some of the things that have happened, I can't believe they're only yesterday because so much has happened uh, since Wednesday, since the news broke about admi- administration, feels like we've been going at this for about three weeks. <laughs> it absolutely does. I, I think it, it feels like weeks ago since just Tuesday night. And uh, obviously, £100,000 is a lot of money. Um, how will the club uh, use that over the next couple of months? Yeah, so um, we've, we've, we're obviously in constant contact with the club. Um, and Jonathan Jackson, the chief executive, uh, Ashley Houghton has been absolutely brilliant in pushing uh, the campaign uh, and the appeal. Some of the things that we're already starting to talk about is the travel for the the, the players to get to the away games. So, you know, um, but there's not just players, there's the backroom staff, there's the medical staff. Uh, They've all got to get to the away games and and in some cases stay overnight there. So that's going to be something that we're going to be able to fund. We've also got the home games. Now, obviously, there's not the cost of stewarding and things like that, but we still have to be able to turn the floodlights on. We still have to be able to, you know, pay our utility bills. So um, things like that, you know, we're hoping we're going to be able to support. But but in a nutshell, whatever the club needs, that's what that money is for. Um, and um, I know we might have touched on it in, in the podcast last night, but... Um, we just want to give a shout out to Murray Toms uh, at the crowdfunding website, crowdfunder.co.uk, because as soon as the news broke about us going into administration, Murray was in touch with me via email. And, and basically he uh, has, has offered his services through that website for completely for free. So there's no commission, no charges for us to raise that, that money. Every penny will go directly to whatever the club, the football club needs it for. Um, and I think, you know, that's just fantastic. And once this is all over and our club is safe, uh, those are the people who, you know, we really need to thank um, uh, going forward. Absolutely. And how much, how important is it that the club finishes the season as planned? Well, obviously, earlier this week, things are shifting day by day, aren't they? And, and we heard that there was a 25% chance that we wouldn't finish the season. And, if that happens, there's a potential that we could be expelled from the league in, in the same style that, that Berry were. Um, so that's that's one of our priorities is to make sure that, that every game is fulfilled. And and you know today the players were up for it. We didn't have a situation where um, the administration's been our fault and and players are going on strike, which has happened in some cases. Um, you saw Sammy Moore's video yesterday. Our players are up for it and and they really want to make sure that. Not only are the fixtures fulfilled, but we stay up, and, and we stay up in the light that these, you know, this, these twelve points that are going to be deducted are hanging over us. I, I fully, fully agree with Lisa Nandy. I fully agree with Jeff Stelling. I don't know if you saw that earlier on Sky Sports. Yeah, I'll share the video later. You know, the big, big names in football are saying these. This deduction has to be suspended until a full investigation has happened. So that's sort of the second prong of our attack. And, and I know you feel the same, Jay, that 
Um, we've got to keep this high on the political agenda. We've got to keep it high uh, in social in so, on the social media uh, circuit to make sure that the right people listen and have a really good investigation into this before those points are deducted. We can make a difference, the players can make a difference and just make sure we stay up, but it just seems very, very unfair that we would get deducted 12 points, be relegated under the circumstances that, you know, that are being muted out there. Obviously, as well, with, with that happening, if Wigan were relegated, there'd be a loss of jobs, it would affect the club, they won't be able to do the services as normal. And if Wigan hadn't been bought by that time, uh, if it does happen, they'd immediately become less attractive investors. That's right, that's right. Um, so, you know, you might, we, we, there was news this morning, uh, I think it was on Jimmy Wag's programme, that up to 30 buyers have sort of put the hat in the ring to see the books. If you're a potential buyer, you would want to know what league your club was going to be in before you put that money in. So, you know, if, if the points deduction were, was suspended, we're not asking them not to take it, we're asking them to suspend it, make a full investigation. And if, you know, for example, fraud came out at the end of it, that is a completely different reason to go to an, into administration than any other club has ever had to deal with. So, you know, um, I, I think it's really important that we keep that high on the agenda. Yeah, obviously with what's been circulating, while we, we can't comment if it's true or not, it has potential to be one of the greatest footballing scandals we've probably ever seen. I mean, it could probably be a Netflix documentary in a few years. We, we don't know. And it, it's so remarkable. But uh, for fans that have been concerned of, of the crowdfunding, if uh, the club uh, won't receive it and it'll go to administrations, can you confirm that it'll, every penny goes to the football club? Yeah, absolutely. We've had a few messages um, about that. So the way we've worked it is, obviously, we're the official supporters club. Um, we've been around for over 40 years. Our bank accounts are separate to the football club, but um, the administrators have basically set up new accounts that are separate to, you know, everything that was old from Wigan Athletic in terms of, you know, uh, the, the previous owners and the administration process. So, you know, we can do two things. We can transfer the money to them, whatever is needed, uh, or we can pay bills directly. You know, so for example, the coach travel, we use Eavesways anyway. We, we are the official supporters club who provide the travel. So that's something that we can consider doing if that's what the club want. It's basically whatever the club want, whatever the club needs, that's why we are here. You know, that's why the supporters club exists. And that's why supporters want to get involved because, you know, they can be reassured that every penny will go directly to the football club. Absolutely brilliant. And what can we athletic supporters do? to help the cause? Great, great question, Jay, because we've had so many um, people messaging, what can I do? I want to give up my time to volunteer. I want to raise funds, um, you know, so many sort of ideas uh, to keep the, the club going. We're, we're going to be um, putting something forward where fans can get involved for Wednesday night's game. So we know that you want to, you know, the supporters want to feel part of it. Um, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. So, you know, we don't want fans turning up at the stadium. Um, we don't we, we can't have sort of peaceful protests because ultimately that will have to be policed. We'll have to have security at the ground and that could cause additional costs for the club. So we, we're going to come up with um, some ways in which you can show your support for the club, show your support for the cause. Um, and particularly Wednesday, which is a huge game for us. Um, so just, you know, watch out on on all the major uh, Wigan Athletic um, sort of media outlets because because we're going to come up with something to get supporters involved for Wednesday night. Um, and, and I say that because we want everybody to pull together. Every Wigan Athletic fan is in this together and that's how we feel. Absolutely wonderful. And I'd like to obviously echo what you just said and, please stay away from the DW Stadium on a Wednesday night. Uh, if a protest did take place, not only with the police cops, it could lead to uh, potential repercussions on a, a further level, possibly from the EFL, and that's not what we want in this time of need. Um, and I imagine you agree with that sentiment. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I know the club um, 
you know feels the same that you know we've we've got to it, it, we've got to abide by the rules and the law of, of what's happening at the moment in terms of the coronavirus as well you know um social distancing is still in place um games are being played behind closed doors so th there will be other ways to show our support and we've seen that in the past 24 hours look how fantastic the supporters have been um there have been times where you know um adam who's our secretary says i've been chopping onions and that means he's getting a little tear in yeah. his eye you know watching the likes of brenda spencer who was our chief executive for 15 years graham jones of course um you know scoring all those goals and getting the golden boot back at springfield park and then returning uh with roberto there's so many names from uh wigan's history that you know you never stop being part of the wigan athletic family and they just want to support us so it's been it's been emotional hasn't it the last 48 hours as well as being sort of uh you know a, a, as much time as three weeks <laughs> so much happening it's been absolutely remarkable and what I'd like to say on behalf of, of everyone, thank you uh, to yourself and the support club for the amazing work and helping raise a hundred grand and, and like you said earlier, thank you to all the fans for obviously spreading the word, uh, donating the well-earned money to help this club and it just shows how special it is to myself and a lot of people. Uh, Wigan Athletic uh, don't have that many fans in, in numbers but we definitely make up for it for the quality fans that we do have. So I'd like to uh, wish you all the best in hopefully raising even more than 100 grand. And uh, if you have any updates, please uh, get in touch with myself. Thanks. Thanks for everything, Jeff. No worries. Uh, so, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, keep tuned on uh, on this channel for, for daily We have to take administration podcasts. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to obviously keep you in the know as much as I can. Uh, I think it's important that the fans communicate and, and keep each other updated, not only for reassurance and uh, clarification. I just think it, it's nice to to kind of. I know it's it's impossible to end end worrying, but it, it gives us a little bit more peace of mind. But the one main thing is we've been united throughout this, and that's the way we can move forward. Progress with unity, and that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, thank you very much.